What is up, Pokedeeps and Masters of the Jurassic Park Rusty Rusty Arena back, back for another Dragon Ball Super deck profile. So, I'm going back to my roots in this video. We're going to go back and start off where it all began with Golden Frieza. My first deck profile was on Golden Frieza, and we're going back to it because, you know what, we got some spicy new stuff to make it relevant again, which is super neat and super awesome, and we're going to check it out here in one second first. Go down to the description box down below, check out the Teespring where you can get awesome shirts like this and the R hoodie I wear in a lot of my videos and all that kind of stuff. So if any of that piques your interest, make sure to head down there. We also had in a recent update video, everything got a kind of a makeover. So if any of that tickles your fancy, go check that out to see what's going on on the channel and what updates are going to be coming to the channel. But let's get into the deck profile now. And here we are. So, well, you're wondering why this old set one leader made a resurgence and i'll tell you why we just got the brand new power boosters for miraculous revivals and we got this guy right here we're rocking three copies of dagoma's loyal servants so if you have a frieza or a sorbet in play in your battle area you can play this card from your hand without paying its energy cost um and you can you can't play more than one uh tagoma per turn which is which is fun but this allows you to basically if you have a frieza which we have a handful of frieza's in here uh, allows you to absolutely just replay, sack off for this effect, and just untap one or two energy, depending on uh, what circumstance you're in. So, uh, late, late game, you can pay one energy, untap two, you can just go deep and do all that kind of stuff, uh, because we have a decent amount of freezes in here. We have three copies of this, because four is just a little too clunky and a little too much with the amount of freezes. If it was a full Frieza style deck, yes, I could see it, or if it was like a Dende Frieza deck, maybe a bit more, but... I think this is the perfect amount to get that free summon off a lot. Plus, it can be uh, plus it can be uh, summoned by other cards in the deck and stuff like that. But let's get on to the next set of cards. So, Tagoma. We have Frieza's Call. Frieza's Call is a yellow. This is a yellow green deck. So it's a lemon lime deck. Um, choose one Frieza's Army card with entry cost of two or less in your deck and play it uh, in rest mode and shuffle your deck. So play one. You can play this card. Plus, there's a bunch of other cards you can play. So, this card allows you, especially when once you have your awakened, this allows you to go, uh, like say you say you say you have four energy, you tap three, you tap this, you untap two, then you're allowed to go a little bit deeper and stuff like that. So pretty awesome. We run three copies of this because we don't want to. We have a handful of yellow cards, but we don't have too too many. The goal is to only have one yellow card, and mana, the rest green, because the heavy cards are all green and all that kind of stuff. So the goal the deck can open up either yellow or green it doesn't really matter you have optimal plays to play both turn or on turn one with uh yellow or green so it's not really a huge issue if you open up green turn one or yellow turn one because you have frieza's call then you have infernal emperor frieza four copies of internal emperor frieza this is uh, part of your self awakening package so one it's a frieza so tagoma you can get it off frieza's call because it's frieza's army and when you play this card choose one of your life and add it to your hand pretty awesome uh thousand thousand stats you you summon it you swing with it you sack it off you untap mana you go a little bit deeper right so pretty awesome i am missing four cards from this deck i will show them up on screen when i get to them uh the one that we have actual copies of so i i had built this deck over the weekend i was borrowing a couple cards and then i thought i had the cards at home to make for the deck profile but i i i i'm packing for a trip which i'm on right now as you're seeing this video so um that's pretty much my room's a mess due to <laughs> packing. So, next card we have that can be special summoned off Freeze's Call and stuff like that is Speedy Partner Lemo. So, Speedy Partner Lemo is a Freeze's Army card. So, boom, Freeze's Army card, sack off for this. Uh, you can grab it with this, play it with that, all that kind of stuff. When you play this card, if you have a uh, Chili BR in, in your battle area, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and discards it. 1500 stats that you can summon for one card. I mean, can be in rest mode but if you have a chile they still have to discard and all that kind of stuff it's a freeze army so you can summon it for cheap or whatever and then sack it off for this on tap two pretty awesome i mean this pretty much pays for itself so if you have a chile on field you summon this for two you discard you attack with it you sack it off boom allows you to go do it again doesn't matter we have four copies and this is one of the cards i'm missing we have four copies of chile the beautiful so Chile the Beautiful, uh, this is a con or this is a control-oriented build. So you want to you're trying to discard cards from your opponent's hand, control the board as you go, stuff like that. 
or you can go pretty aggro. You have a, you have a couple different options on how you can go with the untap abilities that you have with this deck, which is super super nice. Uh, so once per turn, when your opponent's battle card is KO'd by a, or I'm sorry, is KO'd, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and and places in the drop area. So pretty awesome. If you can get their, your opponent's guys are tapped, you have a Chile on board, you summon Lemo, they discard, you run into something, won't run into one of their guys, KO it, they discard another card, sack this off, untap two. You, you didn't lose anything. Next, uh, one of the cards I don't have is the only actually real card I don't have is uh, Chile freezes uh, four soldiers. So this is a turn one. It should be on screen right now. Um, turn one. When you play this card, draw cards are pretty awesome. Freezes army, which is the important thing. Four thousand power, not really relevant there. A five thousand combo power. When you play this card, draw a card and then active main. Choose uh, pay one green, one anything. Um, and choose up to one green freezes army card with energy plus two or less from your deck and play it. So you have this card on field. You um, you're able to sack off something to activate him. Untap two, play play this, do that, or whatever. You have three mana. You can just you can just make plays that just cycle, circle and cycle. So pretty awesome. Um, it's a draw. It's a it's a cheap turn one freezes army. It allows you to like play it, draw a card instantly sack for one or two energy can't really beat it it's like a boo that you can sack to like it didn't happen like what um pretty awesome so a, a common turn one play you could go um page play, 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 play chili uh draw your card sack it off untap your green play infernal you just drew two cards right there and absolutely crazy so next card and another freeze a card to set off your tagome so we have this Frieza card, and then we have four copies of Surprise Attack Frieza. So this card procs, it's a four turn four, but you're never going to pay four for it. So Critical, which is beautiful, um, great for a control discard engine, right? Uh, activate when your opponent's battle card is KO'd. If there's not a Surprise Attack Frieza uh, in play, play this card from your hand. So just when you, when you uh, KO something, this procs, this procs, uh, you drop it, boom, free play, allows you to free play more stuff. Like, and then, it, it, like, if, 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 if you're in a situation where you need to, you have this on board, you, they, you KO the other thing, they discard, you free play, you uh, attack with it as critical, you, they discard a card, then you uh, sack this off to untap your energy. Like, it allows you to just take that extra step and go deeper and deeper and deeper. So, the real end game of this deck is to kind of just cycle around until, like, you're controlling your board controlling your opponent's hand, and then you can drop Super 17 Infernal Machine. This is your big 4 drop. Double Strike, this card's attack cannot be negated, which is super nice. 2,000 power, what else could you ask for? I mean, it does have that effect. Uh, when you put this card into play, you can choose two cards from your hand, play some drop area if your, your opponent does the same thing. Pretty nice, love to get those extra two cards if you have the cycle, the circle, everything going. Drop the last two cards. They can't negate, they can't do, they can't com off combo, boom. Nice. You also have a couple other uh, end gamers, but we'll get into that as we go. We have three copies of Time Magic. Uh, pretty nice ye yellow leader. Obviously, you want to tap stuff down. Allows you to attack into their guys, get this effect off, get this effect off, all that kind of stuff. Uh, tap blockers for this because it can't be negated. All that kind of stuff. It just allows you to control the board even more. It has sparking, so even if you don't have that yellow untapped, um, you can still sparking, and you're pitching cards to the graveyard consistently with Freeze's effect, KOing things. Pretty freaking nifty. Um, you're running two copies of Avenging Frieza. So, Avenging Frieza turn one, yellow, like I said, is another turn one play if you open up yellow. You have this into that, into whatever you want. Because uh, you can always play Avenging Frieza into something, sack it off into um, Frieza's Call into... Like, you know what I mean? Like, you just have plays. You have plays if, if you go first, or I'm sorry, not if you go first, but if you play a yellow or a green mana opening turn. So, when you play this card, look top three cards of your deck, choose one Frieza's army among them, then energy costs two or less and adds to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Pretty nice. All these are Frieza's army, allows you to grab them. I mean, this is the only thing you can't grab, because it's turn four, I guess, but all the rest of your Frieza's army is pretty nice. Then you have two copies of... Uh, Breathe those biding as time. So right here you have two, four, eight, 
12 freezes to proc off your three Tagomas. So you have plenty of targets for your Tagomas, allowing you to special summon and get that free untap with it, which is super nice. So when this card, when you play this card, choose up to uh, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost of two or less with barrier switch to rest mode. That allows you to get rid of those Borgoses and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's kind of the play, the, the mind making here. You could have had Gore if you could play. Uh, Buldo in a spot, because it's a blocker, it kind of does the same thing, but it doesn't ignore barrier. This ignores barrier, but doesn't have blocker, so it's kind of like a give or take, plus this also has a name Frieza. So, <clears throat> you have your super combo. Since we are, uh, since we do have, we have like two, um, we have two overwhelms in a deck, you could switch this out, like, depending on how you want to play. I put Jocko in here because we do have a couple overwhelms in the deck. Um, so it is the four less man, uh, four less life. But again, because you have all this discard, you're probably getting your sparking pretty darn quickly. So like, you could play the sparking yellow. You could play, you could play the Beerus. Like it, it's very interchangeable depending on how you want to play it. You're not really playing any Saiyans, so you can't really uh, take advantage of um, Shigesh. But I think I think Jocko or uh, Beerus, neither of them are a bad choice. Um, your overall cards are, you have one Dark Temptation Coach, just for that extra push and extra discard, all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I, if I could fit more of these in, in the deck, I might, I might throw another one of these in the deck. A two line of this wouldn't be bad. Again, it allows you to just go a little bit deeper, powers this guy up. Uh, you don't get any special effects off of it, because there's no Frieza's Army Overrealm. Well, there... Uh, there's that one Frieza, we're not even gonna talk about it. But, um, again, discard, power up. I mean, it's a free play if you just need just a little extra push you can do it right then you have mirror creator absorbed again you're kind of filling up your discard pile a lot doing all that kind of stuff this is going to be super fat super and all again you're untapping mana so like after you've done all your attacks right you can just sack off one of your guys untap your mana and then go into this guy super fat and then you have two copies of further destruction chompa to just say i win end game done and then you can turn any of these guys into double strike. You turn your crits into the. You can turn your freeze, surprise, surprise attack crit freezes into them. You can turn whatever you need to, your lemos, your whatever, into double strikes. Pretty awesome. Um, two copies of full power energy. Uh, because I did want to have a green negate as well. Plus, this gets rid of turn ones, the pesky turn ones, annoying turn ones. Does what it does. Um, and because we're running ill, we obviously can't run the sparking one. We have two Crusher Balls, again, allowing you to set up for combo plays, discard plays, blah, 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 blah. Allowing you to go dig deep now. Pretty awesome. Plus, there's a couple of decks that just kind of like, hey, you have the Crusher Ball, ball main deck, you don't have to sideboard it. Super nice. Super, super, super nice. Then we have three copies of Infernal Villainy Cell, just because we do a bunch of untap, and sometimes we just don't... Sometimes there is those circumstances where we don't have those plays where we can just go a little bit deeper. This gives us a nice defense. Uh, one one thousand or uh, one one thousand ten thousand defense, uh, and when you combo with this card, you draw a card. Pretty freaking snazzy. I never, you're probably never playing it, but it does have that crit twenty thousand power. I wouldn't suggest ever playing it, but if you needed to in a pinch, boom, it's there. It has crit. Pretty awesome. So that's the deck. That's the Frieza deck reborn. Frieza re freaking born. Like. I was so excited to, like, as soon as I saw the Tagomas and saw, I'm like, like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You just, every, just like, you see a card and you're just like, oh my god, I can do this again! It's just like, I don't know, I don't know. This deck is super fun. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's tier one. It did pretty well in the, uh, the event I played it around in, but let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. Over the summer, we're probably gonna, because we are getting, we're getting a couple new leaders in the new ultimate box and all that kind of stuff, um, but really until like august we're not really getting anything super big super new so i think i might go back and obviously we're getting like i said we're getting a couple things in the ultimate box and stuff like that or it's not the ultimate box but you know what i'm talking about um but i kind of want to go over some of the old leaders and i know like some of them aren't super competitive but i kind of want to go back and like i don't know have a catalog of all the decks this is like our longest period without big changes to the game which is which is not a bad thing i think this is what like Everybody complains about Super Shenron and stuff, but I think the meta is actually decently balanced and pretty, pretty fun. I really do like the meta. Like it, it does suck every once in a while to run into that Super Shenron deck and just kind of sit there and twiddle your thumbs. But I mean, it happens. Like there, there, there's going to be decks like that every once in a while, and I, I can't really, 
I don't know. I kind of want, like I said, I want to go through and pull out some of the leaders that I haven't done deck profiles on. Even if they aren't tier one, just try to make the best deck that we can out of these leaders and just try to give a variety out to the community because this is a time where we do have that option that we'd like. Other than like Super Shenron, there's a bunch of competitive decks. There's a bunch of top tier decks. There's a bunch of tier two decks. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's no, there's no, like, there's very few leaders that I've just, I just look at and be like, nope, can't do it. Can't, I gotta walk away. I just can't, I can't even build. Can't even build. There's just, there's just something for everything. So, if you wanna see, if there's any leaders you wanna see me uh, deck profile with that you haven't seen on this channel in the past, or if you have, if you're watching this channel for the first time, make sure to subscribe because we're gonna be doing some wacky stuff on this channel. But, hit that like and subscribe button. The content is going to be a teeny bit light while I'm on vacation, but as soon as we come back, we're gonna go freaking hard. I do have a Trunks deck profile once we come back. I'm still working on, uh, I'm missing one hollow leader. We're missing the Dende leader, and I kind of went, I was kind of holding off making that deck profile until we got the hollow leader, because I just love it. I have every hollow leader except for that, but we'll do the trunk, Trunks profile when I get back. If you like any of this content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Poker Russ out. Peace.